Tēnā tātou katoa. Good evening. National leader Christopher Luxon is not ruling out banning mobile phones in schools. He teased the policy during a school visit in Hamilton. Where he also appeared to stumble on one very simple question, how to spell cat. Here's political editor Jenna Lynch. Teaching the basics brilliantly, National's policy put into practice. Car. C-A-R for car. Christopher Luxon may need to brush up on his own basics, though. Can. K-A-N. Very good. Can is spelt with a C. What's K-A-T? Cat. I'm just checking. I'm just checking to make sure you look very smart. I'm just making sure. One from three. Catastrophic. Hey, how come you've gone so quiet? Christopher Luxon's classroom goal is simple. They're teaching uh, basics brilliantly to our kids. Reading, writing, maths, an hour a day on each. But there's another problem plaguing schools. So on mobile phones, what's the deal here with kids? Like, do they have to... Do you have a... Do you have yeah. a band? Technology troubles. Because, you know, phones are a distraction, big distraction, big distraction, and um, particularly with the different things you can do with a phone these days. You know. Two weeks ago, the UN called for a global ban of smartphones in schools. Luxon seems to quite like that. And we are very focused on making sure we lift academic achievement in New Zealand. And when I talk to principals, but also to parents, uh, you know, they do say that mobile phones are a distraction. So we may have more to say about that very shortly. Watch this space. Across the ditch, New South Wales has already banned phones in primary schools and will ban them in high schools from term four this year. Uh, watch this space. We have something to say about it very shortly, but I have real sympathy for parents and principals who are saying it is difficult in schools. Part of his education picture. We are very serious in government about prioritising education because it's the thing that gets kids from one set of circumstances to another set of circumstances. Searching for answers to the country's tough academic challenges. What's K-18? K-18. And the correct answers to the simple ones too. <laughs> Kia ora, Jenna. So is it likely that National could actually ban phones in schools? Yes, it sounds like Christopher Luxon has let the misspelled cat out of the bag on this one. I'm hearing that a policy could be announced as soon as tomorrow, though the party is not confirming anything. This is good retail politics. Parents think this is a major problem. There are a multitude of studies showing that these things are a distraction, exacerbated by the multitude of things that you can do on them. At the moment, schools are choosing school by school what to do about phones. The government is leaving them to it. And I've just received a very very strongly worded statement through from the Education Minister on this. She says that introducing a government ordered ban is unnecessary and shows a lack of understanding of how schools operate in New Zealand. Going on to say introducing a ban of this kind would undermine schools who are best placed to make this decision as it needs to be made on a case by case basis to take into account learners who may need phones for accessibility reasons. So solid fail grade from the Education Minister on this potential policy. Political editor, General Lynch, Tenakwe.